first updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with PTC. On Friday, May 29th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, come check out the incredible submissions for the Robots to the Rescue Challenge at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. PTC will be providing giveaways for both submitted robots and for those who watch live. Don't forget that you can register for Onshape for free and start designing right in your browser at onshape.com forward slash education dash plan. We're going to start with uh, one of our main stories uh, as we come in here. Uh, and many off-season events uh, have been coming up. You may be hearing that, uh, of course, from FIRST, saying that the uh, cancellation and postponement due to COVID-19 and FIRST announcement that they can't support uh, off-season FIRST Rise events. And one of the latest announcer cancellation was one of my favorites, and that's the biannual WVROX 26-hour, 14-minute continuous event. Yeah, if sincerely, I'll put it up here, but if you haven't seen this event, uh, it is absolutely incredible, and I was really disappointed to hear that this was going to be canceled. This was scheduled in August. It's only played every two years. Teams provide multiple drive teams and attract a pretty uh, competitive crowd. Uh, so according to uh, Alex Stout uh, from 2614, they hope to bring the event back next year so Infinite Recharge can be played in its 26-hour, uh, 14-minute uh, fashion. Uh, but IRI just announced as well, too, uh, right before the show started, its cancellation uh, for 2020 as well. So more to come about this. Uh, later during in the show, uh, but you know I'm sure Andy will probably talk about I Ryan a little bit later, but just crazy to hear uh, about that as well. Right. Yeah, seriously. Um, I I don't know. That's just like another crappy piece of news to come out this week, but totally understandable. Um, another topic that I feel like has been surprisingly a hot topic in the off season. It's barely a hot topic during the regular season, but. Um, is the chairman's versus engineering inspiration debate on Chief Delphi and probably going on on every um, platform outside of Chief Delphi. Uh, Carpet came in and dropped quite the bomb recently, asking people to fill out a poll on Chief Delphi, um, which I'm going to read verbatim because I was just catching up on this, as I tell Tyler every time we have these shows. Chief Delphi is foreign land to me at this point, so it's always an exciting surprise to catch back up. So Carpet... <laughs> put down five days ago. Which award would you rather win? The Chairman's Award or the Engineering Inspiration Award? Zero context. Uh, just vote and discuss or ignore that. That's cool, too. And, and I'll be digging into that a little later tonight. It was definitely interesting to see so many very strong fact-based and emotion, emotionally charged opinions that were you know, being thrown around, a lot of them coming from really um, like long-standing people in the community. So it was really interesting to see their take on both sides of that. And it'll be interesting to hear takes from the community as we go into this later on, and especially from Andy, who is a, you know, a mentor on a team that really works their butt off on and off the field. And especially in Indiana, where you guys have such a strong, you know, community where there, it seems like a pretty competitive region for, for both of those awards. So we'll be diving into that in just a little bit. Um, Andy, do you want to talk to us about the FTC game teaser that's coming up in literally a week because June is next week? <laughs> yes, definitely. First Tech Challenge just recently announced uh, their, the release of their game teaser, which is going to be released Thursday, June 4th. That's next week. Um, team leads can register at myfirstinspires.org starting May 28th. That's like in a couple days. And I know that I'm excited to see what's going to happen with the FTC community and the new game and the, and the game teaser. And I think, I think this would be a great chance for many people to, to invent and create and be a part of FTC, especially that we're going to keep our robots and play with FRC robots this next year. There might be a lot more interest in FTC. Yeah, totally agree with that. So speaking about uh, branching out to a uh, new program, especially if you're an FRC, uh, don't forget to check out the XRC simulator, uh, which we're going to show up on screen. If you haven't seen this, by the way, really cool stuff. I've been doing a lot of it on fun too, but you can play some awesome multiplayer network simulations of FRC, FTC, so get in on that. And now also Vex Robotics just released this as well. Uh, so if you're an FRC competitor, the developers just announced the addition of two new FRC robots, including a tall turret shooter and a tall long distance shooter that should be able to shoot in the trench run so it'd be cool to see right now they only have one you see on screen uh, only one of these uh, robots are available now they're going to be branching out to a bit more so really cool with that uh, so you can also tune in to the second robots uh, competition champions tournament the all-star tournament uh, will be on saturday 3 p.m eastern live here at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now and for those of you who have been watching our shows for a long time um recently or actually 
not super recently, but we have had Team Appreciate on many, many times. So Team uh, 2468 or 2468 out of Texas. Um, one of their huge things that they are known for is first signing day, which is one of my favorite unique things that's not robot-based about this program. Um, so if you guys didn't see all the buzz about it on the first robotics competition page or on Appreciate's social media, um, it took place on May 20th. And participants from all around the world um, kind of tuned in and watched on the first Twitch TV page. Students were um, physically signing their documents to confirm that they are indeed going to a, a specific college of their choice. Um, I know my team participated this year and it was a really cool way to kind of engage our seniors, especially right now with things being so weird. It was a great way for our team to kind of come together um, and celebrate our seniors. The um, if you take a look at Team Appreciate's Facebook page and their website, they um, did a ton of social media coverage and were able to share a lot of the content that maybe even your team or other teams around the world submitted for first signing day. So it was really cool to see that first partnered with them. I'm excited to talk a little bit more about it in a little bit. Um, let's see. Oh, next on the list, we have what CAD programs will your team use in 2021? And Andy, you seem like just the person to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I love CAD. I, I've used CAD since 1991, I think. So I've been doing CAD for a long time. But I was kind of surprised. Uh, a recent poll on Chief Delphi asked teams which CAD programs they will use for 2021. And there's a couple hundred votes um, in, and Onshape so far took the highest response rate of 36% with SolidWorks close behind at 33%. Inventor was 17s. Also were Fusion, Fusion 360, which is also like Inventor, an AutoCAD product. And then um, AutoCAD and six other responses. One of the selection options, SketchUp, I think that's from Google, right? That, that received zero votes. I've never heard of that. And <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Google, right? Is that right? It's based through Google now. I don't know if it was originated through Google, I think they just kind of absorbed it um, through a third-party developer. But it's, oh, it is okay. nice because now that I'm learning Google, it's integrated into the Google Classroom suite. So teachers can oh. use it in their, um, like, Google Classroom and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Definitely not good for designing FRC robots. But from what I've heard, it's, it's good for FTC and smaller, like, that okay. stuff. Very interesting. Well, speaking about CAD things, by the way, this Friday, don't forget to tune in to the uh, Robots to the Rescue Showcase. Over 150 robots were submitted that tackle the real world challenge using Onshape for a chance uh, of a share of $7,000, things that go towards like your team registration. Uh, you can check out uh, a sneak peek that we were sent actually uh, from Paradigm Shift 1259. This is uh, their robot that they created, uh, which is a Meals on Robotic Wheels robot that helps solve a real world challenge. I think this is pretty awesome. Uh, so really cool stuff. Uh, and, and by the way, if you didn't submit, uh, you can come check it out still. PTC is uh, throwing in some Amazon gift cards to give away to live viewers. So you can see some really cool designs and potentially win some gift cards. Why not? Uh, so check it out. Twitch.tv forward slash first updates now on Friday, 730 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and all teams can register for Onshape for free if you go to onshape.com forward slash education dash plan. Yeah. And speaking of companies that you know, support robotics. Uh, our longtime friend, Paul Copioli, um, just became the CEO of a really cool educational robotics company that I really, really love as a teacher. So um, Paul Copioli is a familiar face on fun and in the FRC community is a current mentor on team 3310 out of Texas and is probably best known to the people that are on the show right now for being a thunder chicken uh, previous mentor so he i feel like he's had a really cool career and just you know path to where he is now and i'm excited to see what spiro does as a company and with his leadership um i've always been impressed with that company to begin with and i think paul's kind of got a really great eye for competitive robotics and obviously has really well-rounded background um and i'm sure having kids himself that are super into robotics is really gonna like allow that company to do great things with his leadership. So congratulations to Paul. I'm super excited. It's really cool to be able to tell like the fellow science teacher at, uh, at my school that, you know, Oh, by the way, that Sphero kit that you're using, like I'm friends with the guy that's CEO. Of the video. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's really cool to like, just to see like how much some of the people in our community have accomplished, like both like really young people and, you know, people that have been around for a while and, 
I think he's a really good example, and and to you as well, of how even like as you get older, you want to continue to like grow and push yourself and explore new avenues because you never know. You know. Yeah, this was a really cool right. opportunity for Paul. Um, oh, sorry, Christina. Um, I I was able to visit with him back in February in Denver, visiting him at Sphero. We had a really nice conversation, really nice visit, and he he's very excited to be there. He was also excited to talk about some of the tactical things they're doing as a company. And during the announcement, when they announced that he's the CEO, they announced the spinoff of a company called, I think, Company Six. And so um, there's a there's a tactical group within Sphero that, that spun off that's going to help aid people who are first responders and getting into situations that um, might be dangerous for people. So having a robot in that situation will help out. Wow. That's so cool. I had no idea. And it's that's how it still blows me away. It's like a company that's doing something really well. You know, they, they see a need and, you know, they have people that have such great skill sets. It's like, I don't know, just makes me happy to see that there's companies that are still willing to, like, go out and kind of do things like that. So that's really cool. Thanks for sharing that. And kudos to Paul again. And best of luck. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with PTC. Don't forget that you can register for Onshape for free and start designing right in your browser at onshape.com forward slash education dash plan. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live and independent.